pop the seats forward. So there's a release up on the top by the rear deck. Looks like an old school uh, door lock knob. On the inside of both seats, that will release them if you pull up. Then we got to go into the trunk area here, flip back the carpet, flip back the inner liner. We peek in here. I don't know how well I can hold this out of the way, but here's the bolt we need to get to right here. So we don't actually need to go any further. We're not going to pop any panels. Great. Makes it a little easier, so we're just going to take that off. Let's go get the wrench. We'll be right back. All right, so it's 12 millimeter. So anyways, let me go ahead and pop this one bolt out. This one's actually molded into the rear base cushion. There's a little wire, basically a wire tab over here under the bolt. And that's what's holding the base cushion down. There's wire tabs all across the back of the base cushion. But all they do is sit over the material and hold it in place. This one actually is molded into it, so I don't have any choice. All right, so the next step is uh, you got to go ahead and push your backrests back in place and then come down to the front of the seat around probably eight ten inches from the corner and you want to put your hands down underneath the cushion and you'll feel when you pull up on it where there's kind of a point that's tight if you go way over to the right you can feel it kind of pivot go to the left you can feel it pivot and this is kind of the focus point so put your hands underneath on both sides and pull up straight with your legs squatted and it'll pop right out Repeat the same thing on the other side, and then we can pull that cushion out. All right, so now that we got the other side popped out, now it's easy to just slide the seat out the rest of the way and set it off to the side. Once we get it unhooked over there, the lights hooked. Material got caught, I guess. Time. Oh, it needs to come out. Yeah, what's not good? Okay, so as you can see, we got the base cushion out. But be real careful over on the side here that the metal doesn't get caught on the bottom edge of your seat material. We got a little bit of damage right here. That's minor, but you could potentially damage your material on the edge and then it'll never look right again. And as you can see, these are the actual retainers for the base of the seat here and here. And these are the clips that go in. So that's why you got to give it a good tug right there when you're pulling up on both sides. It pops fairly easy, but just a good quick tug. 